Hi, Pat Winter here. I finished my Sea Whispers journal and I used the kits by Maria McGrath from her Etsy shop, Digital Scrappy Crafts. And it's 120 pages with the hard cover. And I did, a, in Photoshop, I made the digital um, front cover with some of Maria's offerings in her um, kits. And I used the jewelry clasps. They're magnetic and they hold really well when you have an exploding journal. And you just open it and it comes right off. So as I go through this, I will just set the items that I take out aside to save a little time. Okay, and the first cover, as you can see, it's kind of exploding here. Under the, the front cover is a little notebook with just a few pages for your journaling. And that just tucks in one of her corner pockets. And I used the seashell as a little tuck. One of her little seahorses. And she has beautiful pages in one of her kits. I believe there's eight pages of women looking out to the sea. And I put on some lace on the at some of the edges and here's tuck spot I just covered or backed a postcard with writing paper I made a little pocket with a piece of um, paper from a another kit that I had and I just filled them with little papers that you could journal on Seashells are love letters in the sand, so these are little love letters. And I had some real tiny starfish that I used. And I made tabs from the seashell images that she offered in her kits. And I also made Um, paper clips. Just journaling space and some vintage embroidery taken from an old doily. And I used transparencies to print off some of the images in her kits. And I, this is ship. I absolutely love it. I don't know if you can see it from the glare. But it's a, a beautiful old ship with some vintage lace and a tuck spot. Another tuck spot I made with some hand dyed lace. And it holds just a little pad of various papers, odds and ends, scraps that you could journal on. And this page folds out so you can journal on both sides. And it's also a pocket. It's a little piece of Indian embroidered fab fra fabric and cheesecloth. And this is another page tab that I made using um, an image from her shop, the little seahorses. And some of them I added dangles to. And this is another page, um, the transparency. I just kind of collaged it a little bit. And another pocket with one of her seashells used as a tab. A little chiffon ruffled and this is an envelope and it's filled with a seashell collection 
which are also journaling cards, just tucked away. And this, of course, is another transparency that I used to print the mermaid. Another one of her beautiful pages. Journaling space. Um, this is a bookmark. And this is a flower made from actual fish scales from a friend um, from Brazil. She had sent me years and years ago. Her mother had made flowers from the fish scales. And the journaling card. And I, throughout the journal, I placed some of my favorite sayings and poems. And this is just a, another journaling card tucked in the lace. And this is a journaling sheet. That's the captain that all the women dream of. And here's the ship again with a real starfish and some cheesecloth. And this is just a journaling card. And some coffee dyed paper. There's the captain. Little poem of the old sea shanty. And another tuck spot using another of her seahorses and a journaling card that has mermaid tears in it which is sea glass and a heart-shaped bead. Some more lace edged papers, another poem. More of her beautiful papers. Another tuck spot for a journaling card. That's one of her tabs that I put some cheese dyed cheesecloth on and a little seashell. And this is a bag made from scrapbook paper used as a tuck spot for one of her journaling cards. And on the back is another of her cards. She has a um, collection of the perfume bottles and such in one of her kits. And that's another journaling card. And I just took some sari ribbon down the edge of this paper and put a few tags, more journaling space. Tuck spot. And this is an, another acetate um, of the ocean, an image of the ocean that I printed over um, a little saying, which is a, also a journaling card. And these are just some images and poems that I found on Pinterest, which I thought went well. Another of her seahorses. And we have some papers in here. Jellyfish seeds that comes in one of her kits. Pier tickets. Several of these come in the kit. Even tiny little envelopes to hide little secrets. More journaling cards. And this little seahorse comes out so you can write a secret little note. More journaling space. And a little journal card tucked in the seahorse. And a little log book, which is just a simple notebook 
from some leftover paper, those notepads that you pick up at like TJ Maxx and such. I just put some in there. Some more vintage lace. And a large journaling card. And this I just made with the scrapbook paper. And this starfish is from one of uh, Maria's kits. And I used one of the cards for a pocket, for a journaling card. And I just put in these extra, the, the recipient of this journal, these are just extra um, paper clips. And inside are this pocket, just a piece of paper to journal on the back, just a blank piece, and another journaling card. So even though there's a lot of embellishing in here, there's still a lot of space to add your own notes and poems and thoughts. And this is also in one of her kits, and I just sewed some cheesecloth on half of this card and slipped in some more mermaid tears that I've collected along the shores of Lake Michigan. And this is the third and last signature. Some more journaling cards with some Indian fabric with metallic embroidery. Another large journaling card with attached extra uh, paper clips. Here's a little sea glass and a crinoid that I've collected. And this holds some um, papers to journal on. And it slips in one of her little belly bands. Another one of her little seahorse images. And this is from a different kit but I just thought it went nicely in here as like a vintage or an old note from a captain. And a little sparkle. More vintage lace. And I just made a little seahorse seeds that has a little paper in it to journal on. And these are just papers that I printed out to make a little journal book. And this feather reminded me of the feathers I pick up along my walks along the beach. And it was given to me, or the group, my um, journal, junk journal group, junk journal gatherings, and it's from Maureen Greason. She's a very sweet, generous friend, and she gave us a sheet of uh, beautiful images of feathers. And between these pages, I made a pocket, a little story about mermaids, which you can journal on the back. And this is just a blank paper that you can journal on. I just thought that was a sweet image. And another journaling card. It's tucked up at the top. Another. It's one of my favorite sayings. Behind you all your memories, before you all your dreams, around you all who love you, within you all you need. Pretty much says it all. And I thought this was very sweet and simple. That's one of my favorite parts of this journal. And another, I 
hand dyed, or I didn't hand dye, I coffee stained this paper and printed a vintage letter, which could be a letter from one of the ladies in this journal to her love at sea, or perhaps to the captain. There's a couple of journaling cards and some little notes you can write on the back. Let's slip in the seahorse. Another card. And these are just extra papers I just sewed together that were cut from handmade paper and just slip in the seahorse. More journaling papers. Another pocket. And I made a little notebook. Put a little ticket in there. Another love letter. And another letter, which the back is just a blank piece of paper. And that's tea stained. Let's put that over there. And that brings us to the back of the book which of course my usual folder and a little pen little writing pen tucked in with the vintage pearl buckle okay let's see if we can get this open there we go A little card, journaling card with some tiny vintage lace. And a little seahorse family of three. And some handmade paper for a little notebook. And a couple mother of pearl buttons. And a tuck spot for a journaling card and one will be tucked in here as well. And this paper is from her kit as well. And this back piece of lace was just given to me by a friend and it's the perfect color and it just works very nicely to hold this little fold out package. And that is that is Sea Whispers journal. And on the the dangles I added another one of her shells and just some beads. A lot of fibers, sari silk and Okay, I'll have to untangle that, but somewhere in here, oh, there's a seahorse and a bottle filled with tiny seashells. And it's a little seashell and a little handmade bead made with sari fabric. And that is it. That is the Sea Whispers journal, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.